guys this is Gabini once again and today we'll be doing some work on SEDS right so as we did in the previous video we did talk about SEDS and we which are irrational numbers right so let's get started now and see how can you rationalize SEDS right how can you rationalize SEDS this is more complicated or more advanced questions from what we have done in the past right so let's get started um in this example we're gonna use this property the first property that we'll be using is uh, root a over root b equals root a over root b times root b over root b why is this b the red part is not changing right it's because you're trying to rationalize this part uh, you're trying to rationalize this b that's why we have to times by uh the same expression root b over root b because here this is the same as one right anything to divide by itself is always one but then we are times it by this when this b met or when multiply this two it give you a uh, rush an integer right? rather it give you a natural number or an integer rather than giving you a set right because it's square root times the square root will always give you a natural number and that's what we got here right so let's get started the first example is um root 5 over 11 right so what do we do let's apply that property right so the first thing that you do, have to do is um root 5 over root 11 times when I use here times by um root 11 over root 11 uh, which we call 11 when it meets well to each other 11 will give us so here we have root 5 times root 11 over root 11 squared uh, this is squared which will then disappear and once it disappear uh you then have 11 and then here at the top it will be root 55 but then we can't do anything with 55 right so the only thing that you can do is just leave us on root 55 right that's the that's the answer now think about this here we did not care about the root 5 because it's numerator but here we the aim of this question we are trying to rationalize the denominator so the only interest we are only interested in the denominator which is just root 11 trying to get rid of one um, the root 11 right? and that's what we did now the next question is um 3 over root 2 right so here same property uh oh, sorry just having um 3 over root 2 times by uh, times by root 2 over root 3 which then give us um, here we we'll have root 6 our final answer will be um, actually 3 root 2 over 2 right so you can see that's our final answer now so this is a um, this is basic one right let's have a look at the hard ones right this is, these were two basics right let's look at the hard ones um in this case uh, we are trying to use the uh, conjugate so here to get to rationalize this we have to multiply this expression by its conjugate right now as you can see here what you do with the conjugate the way you find the uh, conjugate of this expression is you have to change use the opposite sign of the sign that you're given now we have in this case we have got negative but we're gonna use the positive right and this first expression is under set and the second one is under set so we're gonna keep the same expressions under set as well now so the way to do it is um keep one root seven minus two times this is the crucial part so when it turns here what you then have is what you then have is root seven plus root two over root seven plus root two right and uh, what you then have is at the top nothing will change will be root seven plus root two but then at the bottom everything is gonna change right at the bottom things will change um at the bottom things will change give me a sec just trying to move this little bit down so that we get more space right. so at the bottom here things will change because what you are basically doing is you are taking down this root 7 minus root 3 
times by root 7 plus root 2 well, which then equal to the top is not changing but here the brom now this is the crucial part uh, here the brom when it times um square root of 2 basically let me use full expression here so you could see the full working out now we're expanding this while we're expanding this so the next bit will be plus plus root 2 times root 7 uh, uh, minus root uh, sorry minus root 2 times root 7 and we also have a little bit left over which is um over root 2 squared now what you then have is at the top you still have root 7 plus root 2 but here at the bottom now we have 7 because this is square root of 7 squared is just a 7 uh, positive, positive and negative this will cancel and uh, you end up root this was plus uh, actually it was minus uh, and then you end up with minus root 2 squared which is 2 uh, and then what you have was um final answer is basically um root seven plus root two over five uh, this is our final answer guys so basically what we have to do is um what we have to do is basically um use the conjugate of um, this expression the ne uh, negative which is becomes a the conjugate is um plus and then from there we expand right so you gotta be at uh, the top of your uh, algebra skills uh expand that once you have expanded that you always end up with this squared minus um the b squared which is a squared minus b squared right because this is a kind of the formula that we have seen in the past this is this could be our a minus b times but a plus b which is always equal to a squared minus b squared and which is what we got here right so i hope this makes sense however we're gonna do one more question we are going to do one more question root three equal now so with this one so with this one what you do is um same thing let's just copy this down and we are going to apply the conjugate times by its conjugate and its conjugate it's basically the opposite of this sign um so it will be root 2 2 minus 3 root 3 2 2 minus 3 huh once you have done that on the next line where you have on the next line where you have at the top you have this distributed expanding that huh? so basically here what you're going to have is um 3 root 5 times minus root 3 and then at the bottom you're going to have as I mentioned as I mentioned uh, as I mentioned is um a minus b times by a plus b is always equal to a squared minus b squared right so a squared minus b squared if this is our a plus b and this is our a minus b right so that's our a plus b uh, that's our a plus b times b equals to a squared minus b squared right? let's just apply that straight uh, so we're gonna have two of two squared minus b squared two two um so this is our a b squared that's our a squared minus b squared b squared in this case is just three root three squared right and on my next line what i'm gonna have is at the denominator i'm gonna have two times two squared times two minus three right and then at the top i'm gonna expand it up when you expand it up, you have um 6 root 10 
minus 3 root 15 right? and um, from this what you could have next is um, what you then have is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 minus 3 is 5 and then at the top we have 6 root 10 minus 3 root 15 uh, can we simplify something can we subtract anything nothing that we can do here if you wanna be fancy what you can then do is um do this if you wanna be fancy this is what you can do but there's not much really it's and five. All right, guys. I hope um this question makes sense. And if you have any question, leave in the comment um, section, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. However, this is what I prepared for you today. Thank you so much for your support. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.